Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about measuring volume in the lab. Okay, and there are a few instruments that we use in the lab to measure volume, and they differ in accuracy. We're going to talk about each of those uh, and how they can be used in the lab. All right, so the first thing I've done is obtain some blue liquid, and all it is is food coloring in water. And what we're going to look at is the beaker. Okay, the beaker is probably one of the most common instruments that you see in the lab. And what we see is that I filled this up to a point that looks like it's around 150 milliliters, okay? And I say around, and that is signified by the fact that right here it says plus or minus 5%, okay? Everything is in milliliters because in, in science and in the lab we use the metric system. But it's good for approximate volumes, okay? The next item on the list that we use for measuring volumes is the Erlenmeyer flask, okay? And the Erlenmeyer flask is also relatively accurate, and I have about 100 milliliters of solution in here. But again, we can see, because it says approximate volume, that this is not going to be something that you're going to use for exact measurements. When we start to need some experiments that are a little more accurate and exact, we turn to the graduated cylinder. And this graduated cylinder is marked in milliliter volume. So each milliliter is, has an individual marking, so we can measure milliliters and half milliliters, and what I'm going to do is put a little card right here so you can see even more accurately where that sits, okay? And what even makes it more accurate is that there's a temperature uh, accuracy to this. And we can see at the very top there's a mark that says 20 degrees Celsius, okay? And that 20 degrees Celsius mark means that this graduated cylinder was calibrated at exactly 20 degrees Celsius and that's where it's accurate. The reason for that is because as things, liquids and solids, heat and cool, they shrink and expand depending on what's happening, okay? Now, as we improve our accuracy, we turn to the volumetric flask, okay? And this you're going to use when you're measuring concentrations and trying to get an exact uh, concentration of a solution. And what we see is that on that solution uh, of the volumetric flask, we see that it's marked as 250 milliliters. And again, we have that 20 degrees C mark on the bottom here, meaning that it's been calibrated at 20 degrees C. And the way we know it is accurate is we look at this little grooved line here. If you can see that, I'll again put the card up. And this was a hand etched line. And that line is accurate, very, very accurate. And it tells you exactly when you've reached the volume of the flask. So since this is a 250 milliliter flask, we know that line tells us that we're at 250 milliliters. Okay. The next piece of equipment we're going to talk about is typically used in a titration, okay? And that piece of equipment is the burette. And the burette is very, very accurate, even more accurate than the graduated cylinder, and it has marks also, individual marks, and this time in tenths of milliliters. So right now we're marked at 23 milliliters that you can see, and if I drain some of the liquid, we can see that it goes down, and we can watch it go down, and we've gone down to about... 24, 24.2 milliliters or so. Very accurate for titrations, and we'll talk about that in another segment. One of the most accurate pieces of equipment, and you may see this in TV or in uh, biology labs, is the micropipette. And you may use this uh, on and off in the lab, and this is good to microliters, okay? And you can see that here, it's in 1 to 1,000 microliters. So very, very accurate piece of equipment with a little plunge top on it. And we'll talk about that more another time. And lastly is using a balance. And you might say, how can we use a balance to determine the volume of something? Well, we can do it using a graduated cylinder. And right here in the balance, I've already obtained the tear mass of my graduated cylinder. I'm going to take that out and fill some liquid into that graduated cylinder. And I'll, as I pour that in, I can look and see that I've put in oh, approximately 6.4, 6.5 milliliters. And as I put that on the balance, we'll obtain the mass, okay? And that mass comes out to be about 6.42, 6.423 grams, okay? So now we know not just the mass of the liquid, we also know the volume. So knowing the mass and the volume of the liquid, we can determine the density, okay, which is also a very important measurement in the lab. So let's just summarize some of the pieces of lab equipment that we have for measuring volume. We have the beaker, the Erlenmeyer flask, both of them approximate. We have the graduated cylinder, a little more accurate. The volumetric flask, incredibly accurate to the marking. The burette, the micropipette, 
and then lastly, the balance. So I hope you've learned a little about how to measure volume in the lab, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.